Hey everyone, my name is Thomas and I'm a developer advocate at Wix. Today we're going to be talking about the importance of abandoned cart emails. Whether you're building an e-commerce store where customers can purchase items, or you're building something where they can book appointments, it's important that you get your sales through. There's a global statistic, uh, and this depends from industry to industry, but around 70 to 80 percent of all bookings or checkout carts are abandoned. So abandoned cart emails serve as a way to allow your customers to see that they haven't finished their purchase and give them another chance to actually make the decision to finish their purchase. What we're gonna be going over today is an example of building an abandoned cart email using the Wix bookings API. Right here on my screen right now, we have something called uh, the pop show. And the pop show is a website uh, for an audio podcast. If we hit the button over here that says watch live, you can see that we have a booking system set up using Wix bookings that allows people to watch the upcoming show live. We want to make sure that we have an audience to actually watch the show live and get reactions. So what we're going to be doing is using the Wix, Wix bookings API in order to make sure that they get a notification if they haven't finished their checkout. So let's head over to the Velo reference. And on here, you can see a series of functions that we will use in order to create this functionality. If you look at Wix bookings backend, you can see that there's four main sections to this API. In this case, we're going to be using the booking subcategory. Within this booking subcategory, there's a function called query bookings. What this is going to allow us to do is to get our pending checkouts and then send an email to those users to remind them that they should finish their checkout. Let's head over to the code now and see like how we can build this together. Now we're on the Wix editor. What we're going to do next is create a backend web module, and this is going to allow us to get all of the bookings and send emails to anyone who hasn't completed their, pen, their checkout. So let's head over to the code and create a backend web module. So I'm going to call this pending cart. And inside of here, we're going to call um, the bookings API in order to get all checkouts that are pending. And then we're going to send an email out to those users using their contact ID. I've also built something on inside of the file jobs.config. And what this is going to do is run this function every hour. The reason that we're using one hour as the amount of time is because research also shows that this is the amount of time that makes that email the most effective, meaning users who get an email at one hour after they fail to finish their checkout have the highest chance of actually completing their checkout. So let's go back to pending cart. And what we're going to do is import the library that we need in order to um, see all of the pending checkouts. So we're going to import bookings from Wix bookings backend. We're also going to um, use another function that I built before, which takes a contact ID and sends a email. Uh, I've created a triggered email that reminds the user about their failure to check out. Uh, and this is what they're going to see once this function uh, is finally implemented. Now let's get started writing the function. We're going to call this remind user. Inside of this function, we're going to have to get all of the pending checkouts. And we're going to have to make sure that those pending checkouts are not older than one hour by significant margin and are not younger than one hour by significant margin. So what we're going to do is use the date API within JavaScript to make some sort of conditional that checks to make sure that 
the the pending checkout happen within a, a correct time frame. So that way, the effectiveness of this email is as high as possible. Whenever we make constants that represent time using the date API, we will represent the time using milliseconds. We're also going to create a set in order to make sure that we're not emailing these users more than once. This set is going to ensure that all of the contact IDs that we store are unique. Finally, it's time to actually call the Wix bookings API. Now that we have a set of pending checkouts, what we're going to do is we're going to run through those pending checkouts and get all of the contact IDs associated to that order. We're also going to get the date that this pending checkout happened in order to do a comparison to make sure that it's within that one hour to one hour and 10 minutes range. Now let's write the conditional statement. Now we can collect the contact IDs in the set and then send the pending emails out. And we're also going to get rid of these parameters as we won't need them. The last thing we need to do is refactor our code and make sure that the logic makes sense. In our jobs.config, we set a cron job that will run every hour. This is the minimum amount of time that we can do in order to uh, schedule jobs uh, within Bello. If we go back to our pending cart, you can see that our variable saves uh, one hour and one hour of 10 minutes of time. We're gonna have to increase this range in order to make sure that every pending checkout that's done actually gets an email. So we're gonna change it from uh, one hour and 10 minutes to two hours and one minute. Next, we're gonna go to our conditional statement down here and make sure that we're using the time when this function runs in order to tell whether or not the pending checkout is the right age. Lastly, we're going to change some of the variables around to make this code more readable. Just like that, we built a custom solution that will send users an email whenever they fail to check out. Let's take a look at like what the email would look like once the user receives it. So if I started booking my ticket for the music podcast and I failed to finish my checkout, I would then receive this email. You can see that the email says, don't miss out, finish checking out to watch our upcoming podcast live. And right at the bottom, there's a button to complete checkout. As you can see, this email was built using a send and it was sent using triggered emails uh, within the Velo API. Abandoned cart emails are one example of a custom functionality you can build using the Velo API. As always, if you have any feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time.